I'm going to show you how I do Instagram Live. So let me go ahead and share my phone screen. All right, so first of all, say hello to my dog buddy. And I'm gonna to go to the Instagram app. So in the Instagram app at the top, there is a plus button next to the heart. I'm gonna click on the plus button. And then there's live right there. I'm gonna click on the word live. All right, so there it is, Instagram Live. Usually you uh, start out at this button down here in the middle. Um, that's the generic go live button, but you can use um, different filters if you want to. You can scroll through and see there, there are lots of silly filters you can use or fun filters. Uh, I usually use this one, Bloom Light, because I'm a little vain and want to hide my, um, my wrinkles there. So can't hide all of them. But anyway, on the left hand side, you'll notice uh, uh, there is a place to put a title. It's um, there's an icon on the left side that has lines. I'm going to click on that icon now. And then this is where I can uh, add a title. I think it's a good idea to do so because otherwise, um, yeah, it just looks better when people join. Click add title. Okay, so the title has been added. You can see the icon has changed color. And then there's these other icons you can play with if you want to. The third icon is to schedule Instagram Live. You know, I've never really done that, so I'm not entirely sure what that's like. I, I just like to go live, you know, spontaneously to um, prevent my perfectionism. So anyway, I am I am now going to go live by pressing the center bubble on the bottom. I've already chosen my filter, so I basically click that filter again, and it says checking connection. And then once that little red live thing is on the top, it's already it's recording. Now um, you'll notice some of my live videos. I, I it looks like I'm looking at the camera for like two three seconds before I start speaking because, you know, I kind of wait until the, you know, how it it was kind of like pale and then now it's full. I can see myself normally. I I probably usually wait too long. It doesn't matter because in the future when I repost a video, I. Um, if it's a good enough video, I will uh, trim trim the beginning. It doesn't matter. Long story short, usually you just have to test it out. And usually when the live thing is there, um, you're recording. It's, it's broadcasting to your people. And basically, um, there's a couple of buttons on the right-hand side. The, um, the button on the right, that's like three stars. You know, that one always confused me. I'm going to click it again to see what happens. And it says... Um, it, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the button on the right side is just to change change uh, filters. So see, this one is a different filter now, and uh, this one is a different filter. So um, anyway, that's what that is. And I can always add a comment below if I want to say hello to anybody. Well, I can say hello through video, but adding a comment is possible. I can also send this live. Let's say I have a fellow speaker, and um, I could send this by using that um, Sorry, let me turn off the filter thing here or the button. I can send it by clicking on the bottom right icon that looks like a, uh, what do you call it? A paper airplane. Um, and, oh, and then there's also this other icon. Anyway, play, play around with this stuff. I'm not gonna play with this right now. Play around with it, test live, see what these things do. If you have any questions, obviously comment below this video. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the live now by clicking on the X on the top right. Are you sure you wanna end this live video? I click on end. Okay, all right, so now this is the screen that is a little confusing. Uh, first of all, you can, of course, click on View Insights if you want to. Uh, let me go ahead and see this here, Live Video Insights. I don't usually care about the Live Video Insights because I upload it later, and the uploaded video that stays for much longer is more interesting to me in terms of the, the, the stats. But um, what I want to show you is the button in the middle that says View and Live Archive. That's important to do. I'm going to click on that view and live archive. When I click there, oh, I can click on the share button on the bottom if I just want to share it to my uh, profile as a normal IG video. If I click on that right now, let me show you what happens. Um, now I can write um, whatever. Uh, I'm going to click OK on this one. I'm going to click, I'm going to, I can type caption and all that stuff, but I'm not going to share this right now because this is only a test. I'm going to click on view and live archive in the middle there. And you can see, well, you don't know this, but it's the it's my video on the top left. That's the one I just made. I'm going to click on that one video on the top left. Now I can click download on the bottom there. And also the share button is there and the view insights button is there on the bottom as well. If I click on download, 
Now this video is downloaded to my camera roll. That's very convenient because now on the camera roll, that means I can post it later on, on, a, on a whatever date um, of my choice, right? So the common question is if you came to the live archive and you don't see your video yet, the reason is because they're still processing it on the other end. And that's why it's not showing up. So if for whatever, for whatever reason you, you don't see it, just come back to Instagram later. And to get to the view archive, um, let me show you if I can get to, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re restart my Instagram uh, okay, app. To get to the view live archive, you just go to your profile. Okay, go to your profile. And the live archive is on the top, I believe, the, the menu on the top with the three lines. Click on that one and click on archive. You see the second button with a, with a clock, archive. Uh, no live archives. It's Okay, there it is. Okay, it scared me for a moment. So there it is. And you could, you could again, I could click on any of these and, in fact, and download them to my camera roll if I want to. So anyway, I hope that helps if you have any quick questions, um, comment below. If you have any other tips for other Instagram users regarding live videos, you can comment below as well. Thanks a lot for watching.